guys. So you guys asked for it. We're going to do it. We're going to start the Garage Sideways Drift School. Hopefully we can do this this weekend, maybe do it next weekend, and another step for like a three-phase kind of thing. But today we're going to be doing simply the basics. Uh, we're going to probably do like a clutch kick, maybe do a standing burnout, because if you can learn a standing burnout, that's pretty good car control to start out on. But uh, the most important part about today is you're going to learn how to go around a cone or basically get some advice from us of how we learned what we did and how where we learned and all that. Basically, uh, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a car for sure. Don't steal your parents' car or your, her fuel, your mom's Ford Fusion is not going to work. You're going to need a rear wheel drive car, preferably manual. If they have an automatic, it will work. Trust me, I learned how to drift in a 2003 CTS with a boat. So, uh, preferably get yourself a rear wheel drive, old Japanese car, a Euro car, don't really matter, but uh, the better if it's manual or whatever. But uh, the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna wanna change your wheels because you don't wanna get destroy your good tires that you spent money on. So I got some drift spares in there. We're gonna throw them on there real quick. Hey guys, so we got the drift spares on there. That's all in there. Now we're gonna be drifting over in this spot. Also we need some cones. We're gonna need one right there. All right, so that cone's set up. Now basically we're gonna be doing donuts around that. But just for right now, we're gonna set up the other cone because we're gonna be doing the figure eights. That cone's gonna be right there. All right, so that cone's there now. Pretty much we're good. Uh, we're going to be starting out on basic uh, donuts around a cone. So first things first, we're probably going to hop in the car. I'm going to give you some tips from the inside. And then we'll go to the outside view and switch back to the inside. So let's do this. All right, guys. So we're in the car. Basically, before you do anything like this, you should always put your seatbelt on. Please uh, stay on closed courses and stuff. You don't want to get in trouble with the police or nothing. Uh, definitely don't take any of this advice to the streets. And I am not responsible for any of you guys. If you screw up, do anything, wreck car, die, kill your mom, take wreck your mom's car, whatever you guys do. I don't know. But uh, basically, we're in the car. Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have your cones. We already set those up. All right. We got right now, we have, we're in a 97 240SX. It's a good drift car, but honestly, you can drift anything rear wheel drive, manual, or automatic. Doesn't matter. Um, we're going to be starting out with basic donuts. So, first, you want to be familiar with your car, which I'm sure you all are. You're going to be one in the first year which would be all the way to the left and up. And then basically, so we're gonna be going in. We got this cone right here. We're gonna be pulling up. As soon as you pass the cone, you're gonna wanna turn the wheel all the way to the left. You can either clutch kick it or give it gas. Because it's dry, and I usually do this anyways, I'm gonna give it a clutch kick. And then once it kicks out, I usually let go of the wheel, and you kinda gotta feel it out to catch it, but I'll try to do it kinda slow so you guys can watch. So let's give this a first go. So you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna come in kinda slow, and then as soon as you get up next to the cone, you're gonna wanna turn the wheel pretty much all the way to the left, and then give it a little clutch hit. So basically, I know that was crazy to like understand, I, I can't really talk because I'm kind of in the moment. You know, we're not going that fast, but basically, when you go in, okay, you're gonna turn the wheel whatever way towards the cone is, you're gonna go a little bit faster, give it a little clutch kick, or a hard clutch kick depending on how much power you have and the wheel is going to want to spin the opposite way and you got to let it do that and once you feel that the car kind of wants to over rotate you're going to want to catch the wheel and you're going to kind of want to counter steer back the other way and then you're going to want to feel it out with like throttle and all that so i'm going to go ahead and do an outside view now for you guys and daquan's going to get out and record you um basically so it's going to be turn all the way to the left give it a little clutch kick let go of the wheel the wheel's going to turn to the right if you're going to the left and then once you feel the car kind of wants to over rotate, you're going to want to catch the wheel and then kind of balance it out with your throttle and your gas. So we're going to do an outside view for you real quick and then we'll head up to probably figure eights or something. tricky when you're going to be going like for the figure eight basically after you get the donut down uh, right in the middle is where you're going to want to give it more gas and then once again you're going to let go of the steering wheel or move it opposite really fast either way it doesn't matter and then once the car starts to feel like it's going to over rotate is when you're going to catch the wheel again so we're going to go ahead and do an inside view of the figure eight 
and then you guys will get the, you know, kind of the feeling down and what it looks like. And then I guess you guys will be able to go out there and try it, but make sure you're on the track and keep it safe. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and do an inside view on in the 240 real quick of a figure eight. All right, guys, so my car stalled. <laughs> All right, guys, so you're gonna wanna go in right on the center, just like a donut, start a donut, go around once or twice or whenever you feel comfortable. And then you're gonna go for the transfer. So going kind of fast, let's go. So Daquan's gonna do a wide view around the cones. Basically first gear clutch kick. <laughs> we all just need welded diffs. Do you wanna go? All right, I'll get an inside with you if I can. Outside? All right, Zach's gonna give an outside view. We'll explain how you do it then so they know. Oh shit, McDonald's. You know what you do? Probably turn off my hand. I well, usually just clutch kick. I don't take my hand off the wheel like Sebastian. I kind of just slowly counter steer and. small tandems because everyone loves tandems but we're really not like that good at it yet so we're kind of small ourselves but me and Daquan are basically going to do just left hand donuts around both cones and try to get close to each other and uh, keep it kind of safe and not die so let's do this Fucking smash my door in. You, you shot Jack's a mean over here flame. Fucking doing figure ten. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but we're heading out of here. Stay tuned for next week. All right, guys. So this. Thanks for watching the drifting school video. Um, this is gonna be the end. Basically, I just wanted to give you guys like 
and kind of heads up or like if you want to help us out in any way uh we really want to get this video out to like show people like how to drift and how to get into it and do like small things so if you could like copy the link or whatever or whatever url whatever it's called post it on your facebook uh screenshot your favorite part about the instagram i mean screenshot your favorite part on the video and then post it on your instagram uh maybe just, i don't know do whatever we're just asking you guys basically to kind of uh put us out there you know help us out all the subscribers you guys are always really helping us out and saying uh that we hope we go big and all that and honestly we really hope we go big so we're actually going to ask you guys in this one video because this is really important to us because we love drifting and we want to get other people into drifting so we're just going to ask you guys nicely and it, we'd really appreciate it if you could shout us out uh copy the link post it on your facebook share it anything you want to do screenshot your favorite part of the video the coolest car whatever you want to do guys if you want to help us out definitely would really appreciate it and it would be sweet so go ahead and do that if you want to and if you don't want to it doesn't matter but uh thanks for watching this video guys we really appreciate it and we'll catch you in drifting school week two